I can barely walk in these things. So that's going to be pretty tough. Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. I know it has been a long time since I have posted a video, or I usually do it every week, but I did a test of my stilts and I found, as you may have guessed, that they are just too heavy. I have too much metal in there. So what I'm going to do now is renovate my stilts to use the lighter material where I don't need the strength of iron. <laughs> Now I've been thinking it over a lot as to if I should replace the whole thing or uh, maybe keep these iron cross pieces. I think I'm going to try to replace the whole thing. I've got a new design in mind for uh, keeping this actual structure. I've got some scrap cutoffs here that I'm going to start with and you know I bought some more joints here as well as some of the older ones from previous projects like the Mech Warrior. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start uh, with getting some measurements and uh, Assembling it bit by bit. This is three quarter inch PVC that I'm working with here. All right, here's what I've got so far, and yeah, I'm going to do another cross beam right here, but I have to cut the wood first. I have some of this thinner wood. It does support my weight. I'm going to cut it the same length as these old ones. So after making another mess of tools and stuff, I have approximated what I had before and I can stand on this and it will support my weight, which is good, of course. Uh, I do have a problem with it wobbling. So here I have put some reinforcement on the heel and flattened a bit of uh, half inch PVC. I'm going to put some bolts through there, bring it up here and attach it there somehow. And that will reinforce it and that should be good. Ta-da! Here it is. I've got my bolts through there. It's connected. I'll probably do another connection there, but I am going to have to bend these a bit forward to get the proper shape. And uh, I've got both of them done. My current plan with the shin clamps is to just take them off of the old stilts and put them onto the new ones. Uh, mostly because it was a lot of work to build them, but it's a really high quality system and uh, it works. So I'm just going to transfer it over. It has been so cold here the last several weeks that I haven't been able to do anything here in the garage at all. So now it's warmed up a bit. I have been able to uh, start salvaging some of the pieces that I need off of the old legs and installing them onto the new legs. So all of the metal framing from the original stilts is all disassembled here. The only thing that I've salvaged really is the, uh, the, the shin clamp. Everything is nice and lighter and thinner, and so hopefully it will be a lot easier to wear these stilts. And oh, the uh, other thing that I put on here, if we can see it here, I've got a bolt, um, a lag bolt right there. And what that does, it, it, there's one on the other side too, and what it does is when the clamp closes, it actually limits it. So uh, when this is, is fully extended, and pushed right up, uh, both sides are pushed against the bolts and they do not wiggle I'm left and right here. Before they had a lot of, of uh, flex in them, but now they're nice and, and solid there. So that at least feels like a, a bit of an improvement from before. 
One concern that I did have is that this wood might be a little bit too brittle, but what I've done here is I put some of the metal on the underside to act kind of like a, a giant washer. So I've got the lag bolts up into the wood there and uh, it seems good so far. Uh, if I need to, I'll do some other reinforcing on there, but they're almost good to go. The next thing that I'm going to be working on is the knee, and that's going to be made out of some PVC joints, and I'm going to make a knee joint out of the PVC joints. So I recently went out and got some more elbows and tees here. That's what I'm going to be using for building the joint. And I'm going to figure that out so that uh, I've caught up to where I was before so that on the next video we can actually make some more progress. So thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your patience. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all later.